Jim, I didn't mean to cut you off the other day. I just had to get a quick question into Joan. We have and uh, that's a discussion to be continued, eh? Yes. All right. No, no, no. No words. Okay. Good evening. It's the September 16th meeting of the Master Plan Implementation Committee. I'll call the meeting to order at 7.05. Uh, public comment? Hearing none. We'll move on to the review and approval of summaries from 729, 819, and I put and other outstanding minutes if we had any because I wasn't sure. And the 3rd. The 3rd? September 3rd? No, September no. 3rd was Labor Day. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> think, well, I know I wasn't here. No. Okay. So the, the two, shall we start with, um, uh, let's see here, 729 draft, does anybody want to comment on that? We couldn't approve these last time because the people that were present uh, were not, there weren't enough at the meeting last time to approve them. Um, so the people that were present include myself, Chris Falls, Brittany, Christina, Margaret Larson, and Francine. So there's a few of us are here. Yeah. Do you have any comments on them as written? Anything you want to add or change? Okay. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't there. So I mean, I'll entertain a motion to accept. I'll be abstaining, but. I uh, move to accept as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll well, abstain. I'll abstain. I'll abstain. No, you were there. I you was that I was one. The next there. one I would ask. Jim was right. That I, is true of me that, as well. But you could still vote. I could still vote, yes. right? Because I could yes. read them, and that's kind of the purpose. Okay. Okay, so they're accepted. Okay, and then the other ones are... Um, 819. Yeah, I'm sorry. No problem. I was trying to find out. Breaking point. There wasn't one. <laughs> okay. So the next one's uh, we're going to be doing minutes from 819, um, which was the last meeting we held. People present were myself, Chris, Francine, Jim, Mike, George. So you were not present at that one. No, I was Christina. Just, I'm sorry. Um, Anybody want to comment? Uh, that's your role to ask for. Um, no, it's fine. Um, I did not have any comments. I don't know if anyone else did. Great summary. Mm -hmm. Sarah hired. With that, hearing. I'll move to accept. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Minutes are approved. Okay. I don't think there are any. Is Margaret not going to be here tonight? I did not hear anything. Okay. I had the email string open. I didn't see anything. <coughs> Nothing. Um, all right. So moving on to review and rank goals for chapters five through eight. So at last meeting, we changed things up a little bit, um, going through the review. Um, we decided that to, to, I guess, to, to spur some life into this a little bit, to hopefully get the select board um, some direction and kind of actionable items, we're going to take a little different approach. Um, we're going to, like everyone's homework, was to look at chapters five through eight and pick their top three goals in order. Um, and we'll use a ranking system to rank the goals per chapter. Um, the highest ranked goal is the priority for the chapter. Um, with that said, the highest ranked goal may be something that has four ongoing or maybe three completed one ongoing strategies so we may have to take that into consideration once we figure out what is the highest ranked right because that goal may be well on its way to completion right. and we may go right. to the second yeah. rank mm -hmm. yeah. that, was that was kind of the confusing the part was it yeah you know, this is an important goal but some of this is already you know exactly. ongoing so how much do we right. 
put it up there as something yet to be done, you know. Right. And exactly, and if there, maybe there's one strategy left that needs the push, and that's included along with, and we'll call it the second, the runner-up goal, right, because the first one's doing really well. So we'll um, kind of take those as they come. So for the ranking, um, it's going to be pretty simple. So if I choose goal five, one, as my top choice, it's going to get a three. Five, two, as my second choice, is going to get a two. And five, three, as my third choice, is going to get a one. So cumulative, um, someone else put five, one, as their top choice, we'll get another three, and then that's six points. Uh, so that's the plan. We'll see how this works. I did print out Brittany's, so okay. I thought mm -hmm. I did them, but I didn't print George's. He just emailed those. No, so I, somebody want you have? I've got no. I've got Brittany's. I don't. I have Brittany's. I don't. Somebody want to read George's off email? We can. Yeah, if you want. Can you read me Brittany's? I was just. Oh sure, Brittany's chapter five goals are in this order: five two, five three, five five. Five two. I don't know if that's in priority order, though. She didn't make that clear. She didn't say, but, you know, I mean, I think, yes. Yeah, yeah, kind of George's. Order. I would okay. assume she'd have to put them. <coughs> They're all in numerical order. They're in numerical order. order. So they may not be in her priority yeah, order. Right. I, we don't know that. I didn't sure. make that distinction either. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I didn't. Didn't. Yeah. So, do you want to go on to six for Brittany? Um, yeah, I'm going to make a little note just at the top. Um, I mean, we're going to go on that assumption. I noticed that about them, that they were in They're all numerical, numerical order. And so am I. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, except for the last one. Okay. okay. All right, six. Six is six one, six three, six eight. Six one. Six three. Six eight. Seven. Seven one, seven three, seven four. Seven one. Seven three. Seven four. And eight. Um, eight two, eight three, eight four. Eight three. Eight, eight four. Okay. Do you want me to read George's? Because I have them on my own. Yeah. yeah. Or do you want to? No, that's okay. So George for five had, he did not have these in numerical order, so good. Five, six, five, four, five, five. Six, five. No, five, six. Five, six. Five, four. Okay. Five, five. Six, four, five. Correct. Okay. And for chapter six, I will not oh. read, I will not read the six, six but Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Four one three. Four one three. Huh? I like that. Very cool. Boils in the area. Mm -hmm. And seven. <laughs> one. Tell me when you're ready. Three. <clears throat> ready. One two four. One. Two, three, one. Two, three, two. One. Okay. All right. Hit the save button. <laughs> Hit the save button. Yeah. So we'll just go around the room. Okay. And we'll continue tallying. Jim, would you like to go first? Sure. Okay. So for chapter five, goal three, goal two, and goal four. In that order. Three, two, three, two, four. Four. Okay. Six. Um, why don't we just go I thought we can do chapter by chapter. Do I do all five? We'll do all five. All five. Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> you could, I'm going to have to shuffle here. No problem. Chapter focused. Chapter five. Do you want me to move to five then? Yeah. I too had five three, which is the real trail as my first, yep. number one. 
And I too agree with 5-2 as the second mm -hmm. and 5-4 as the third. Okay. Okay, well, um, must have called I'm one. probably in reverse order. 5-4 <laughs> okay. is my first. 5-2 and 5-3. Mine are not in minor uh, sequential, not prioritized. Shall I give them that way or take a minute? To take a, yeah, take a minute and we'll go to brand C. Okay. I have 5-4, five, 5-5, five, five, and 5-6. Five, 5-5. Five, five. Mm -hmm. Five six, okay. I'm a tiebreaker. Well, mm -hmm. she has the Chris Christina yet. No, I know, but I'm just oh, saying in general. So I okay. so one of the things I've tried to do chairing like in the finance committee or chairing here is I'm a tiebreaker, but I'm not necessarily a voter. Um, because you're a chair and you should chair impartially and try to guide. So I'll weigh in for tie-breaking purposes. <laughs> so with me, it's five, five, two, and six. Five, two, and six. Okay. Would it help you to look at these where it's summarized? Um, Oh, I don't know. It's pretty small print. Yeah. <laughs> I just took the, the summaries from chapter nine. Is what I was thinking. Yeah, that's the other thing you can have roll with you. Do, do I even have that? That's totally different. Mine is an unusual text. <laughs> Original. Let's um. Do you want to use one? I guess that will end up coming out the same. So if, if several people chose sure, thank you. five three, so for example, then that yeah, that will still reflect the score. Right? So it doesn't right. matter mm -hmm. how many people chose; it's rather the points of the right. Right. Although okay. my actually, Francine, okay. what I have to do now is okay. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. So should we move on to six? Because I figure if we get the data out of the way, then we can, and then we can go back and yeah. we can do yeah. a discussion yeah. piece. Yeah, I think yeah, we, we can, can argue. So we can try that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I can understand that. Let's well, discuss it's before process. we move on. But yeah, so now we locked in discussion on one chapter all night. Exactly. Right. Let me just do one thing here. Let's collect the data. Just have it a moment. When you forget how to do something on a computer, it happens to me every day. I'm staring at. I do this every. I do this all the time in Excel, and now I can't remember. How do I lock the top? Bro, oh. you highlight something. How do I make this not go so away? Go to um, page layout. Is this Excel? This is yeah. Excel. So you go to. Um, should be a freeze pane, and you may not have print this view. View. Freeze pane. There we go. Freeze top row. Thank you. It is annoying when you scroll and you can't see it. All right, moving on to six. Okay. We have Jim. I have one is one. Okay. Eight is two. Eight. Where is two, three, four is three. Four. So one, eight, four. One, eight, four. Please. No problem. Next. Um, so we're on chapter six. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have one as one. Okay. I have four as two. And I have three as three. Four is two. Three is three. Okay. Chris. 
So do you want to do the Brittany? Oh, we did them all. You yeah. You got all. You got Brittany and George. Okay. Those. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, what my thinking was, let's see. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, number four is first. Number three. And number seven. Seven. Okay. And just to keep going in the same column, Francie. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we took the long way. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> one, oh, no problem. one is first. One is first. Best for last. Seven. And then eight. One. Seven, eight. Seven. And eight. Mm -hmm. One, four, and eight. One, four, eight. This one was hard because there were a lot. Yes. One. Four, and eight. And the other thing here, right? So this isn't about just trimming the list down to eight things to do and then throwing the rest of the book away, right? right. It's about from a general consensus, priority. what's a good priority that we can sort of direct forces on because there will be forces outside of this room working and then we can sure. continue to do the work yeah. and continue to um, yeah. review and rank and do what we're doing. Yeah. So, sure. And I think where the, the challenge was that I had, it, as much as I liked the goal, I wasn't keen on our, from our discussion, I wasn't necessarily keen on the strategies that were under it because some, right. we already said we thought were pretty impossible. So it was as important right. as the goal may be, it's like, well, these aren't the right things for the activities for the to do. So then I, mm -hmm. right. I kind of threw it away a little bit. So that's... And some of them, over, anyway. and some of them overlap, too. Like we've, they do, yeah. You know, you've seen some goals where the strategies are very similar. Well, you pick goal one. You really like goal one. And in the process of doing goal one, you do a lot of work on goal four, and that's great. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll at least, once we get going on those and get those <laughs> goals moving forward, that'll be good. Get this, get this one. Seven. So I had a real hard time with this one because so much of this is already done. Yep, I right. too. Or determined already not feasible. Right, right. Exactly. Yep. That I, I frankly could not prioritize these. I, I almost feel like well, don't spend all that time on seven just because we have so much I, else I, to do. Mm -hmm. I, it sounds like I'm copping out by taking the pass. I just well, we can give them all ones. I mean, it's yeah. nothing. I mean, realistically, you're still giving it value. Or you, I don't want to say give it twos because that's kind of. I don't know. I feel like you're giving almost too much credit to all three. But if you give them ones, you're at least putting value to that. But it's not necessarily prioritized. I guess my concern. Because someone else may find a lot of value in one. Well, my concern is if we don't start thinking about something, we're going to have nothing. We That's already right. missed the solar. We're about to miss the fiber optics. I don't know, you know, what's next on the horizon, but we're not, we're not anywhere. So if we don't start right. making some plans, we're we should just do the best we can. Do you want me to do mine? If you still yeah, I'll have to. You'll have to come around. I'll come back. All right. So. I've got seven two as one, four as two, and one as three. Two as one, four as two, one as three. We have green community status already, mm -hmm. is that correct? Yes. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> Where was that, Christine? Four. That was four? Okay. Well, the way I re viewed that, I sort of rewrote my little notes next to them and update grant availability and renew and review achievable goals. So, I mean, yeah, we have the green status, but what else could we be doing, we doing that really? we don't yeah. know yeah. about? Right. Yeah. Like yeah, we can. MVP yeah. being one, which isn't exactly a green thing, but yeah. it's a, a priority, really. So, mm -hmm. for example. Mine was somewhat similar. I had number two first, then one, then four. Two, one, four. Francie? 
Conversation at dinner about left handed because my family was there and we had my sister and all oh, lefties. Yeah, there were a few lefties. South Plus. Yeah. We all know what Bill the Spaceman Lee said about those who are left handed. What did he say? He said they are the only ones in their right mind. <laughs> I thought was correct. <laughs> okay. Four, two, one. Four. Two, one, Christina. Two, one, four. Two, one, four. Two, one, four. Okay. So we have tallies. Um, we do not have. Um, I'm going to check email quick. Let's see if there's any last minute submitters. Submitters. Only one we're missing is Margaret, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I was checking to see. And I don't think, I just want to double check the email chain. Because Gmail, like, I get, everyone rolls up into this one giant email. So you I can know. never that's see. Mm -hmm. So I have to scroll through and make sure I didn't get any. But I haven't got anything, so. Okay. Yeah, I miss a lot of messages that way. <laughs> so let us look. Yeah, because it just falls yeah, into rolls. the other email. Yep. and. person we haven't heard well is, is Margaret. Yep. Everybody yep. else can yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, we just I, I think Brittany just kept it. They're probably in the numerical order. From, I would guess. Because there was none of hers oh, that that's were right. we did. none of hers we were, right. we none of hers were obviously out of order, let's put it that way. So Right, so it's hard to there's no like little she holding it in her hand, doesn't she? She might be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sure she, she could use a little break. A reason to come up. <laughs> right. So, we we couldn't ask her to designate it during the meeting, but no. we could see if she would really really come up for five minutes. But they had a really full agenda tonight, didn't they? Yeah, but they were, they were moving slowly. They were she done with their enforcement. So she could come up, put some numbers next to those. Her email. I don't have her cell phone. Do you have a cell phone? I don't. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, they're either at the 
zip to burn door or clear water conservation, one of the other right now. So, uh, what was the issue with? Oh, I know, in terms so, of the blazing and the trails. Maybe we could do is do the tallies, and if there's any really close votes, we could meander down there yeah. and see if we can't pull her out. Before we use our tiebreaker, we could use her as a tiebreaker. Yeah. That's exactly what I was Two, thinking. Four, I was just telling him. Because that would be seven of us anyway. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Maybe just to, Who? Did you have her email? Yeah. I'm, I'm sending yeah. something to email. Yeah. yeah. Just tell her to stay put after the meeting. <laughs> I think we'll be done before they are, though. Maybe. Really? Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Was that being recorded? No, never. <laughs> Not that I know of. Oh, are you kidding? Never. It's not going to happen. Just bear with me. Oh, I know. I thought it would we'll do all the work for you. Well, <laughs> it does. Jump in formulas? <laughs> I'm just tallying each. Um, <laughs> So for chapter five. Do you want to plug in? Yeah, let's plug in. Oh, there oh we go. yeah, let's put a visual. Jeez, good idea. I always have to turn it on manually. I never. That seems to work. Great, good idea. So for five, we have our first uh, need for <laughs> at least brick order. Okay. Because right, so that's up there. Yeah. So there we go. So coming in at this is excluding Brittany's votes. Okay. Coming in number one is goal four. Personal opportunities to expand transit service in Southampton. That has 10. Coming in second with eight, excluding Brittany Pope. Increased pedestrian safety and access, but that did have a three there. What number is that? Uh, that is goal two. Okay. And then 5-3, even with her, well, 5-3 could be a 10, excluding hers. But basically... So there's two twos, basically. Well, there could be two, two ones. Because, right, so if hers weren't in order, 5-3 could be the top priority. Oh, you put her score in, I see. I put them in, in the order as right, even though they were all in yeah. numerical order. Right. Um, so these are the top three. Four. Right? Yep. So Four the two top three. Four, two, three. Four. Four, two, Four, three. Two, three. Yeah, or four. Well. Two. Yeah. So let's put it. Okay. Three. Or it could be a tie between three and four. So this, well, now is, not to, like, match with it. No, I just want to, if, is there another way, is this the same thing as saying that X got the most numbers of threes? Is that, are we, it isn't that way, right? So like if, for example, number three, goal five three, has two threes as the first mm -hmm. choice? Does no, I'm doing total, okay. total votes, right? Because even though it wasn't your top choice, it was someone else's second choice. So their top choice could have been kind of off the board, but they still showed preference to your top choice by giving it a two. So, you know, it still has rank over someone else's one. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess I was just looking at the two threes and thinking that the two threes, the two people out of the whatever we are, seven, voted that is their top one, right? For this right here? Yeah. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. right. It looks okay. to me by the scoring that the one with 10 is the winner regardless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not if Brittany voted for 5-3 to be her top choice, then it's a tie. 
No, because you already have a tooth there for her, don't you? No, that's George. But that's just in the order as red, not necessarily. Right, but oh, I see. It's not in your tally. I think it's, it's not in included in the tally. Oh, correct. okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I see. I thought it was. Okay. Yes. And I guess, just so I'm clear, because, okay, if I see the two threes there on that number three, so that two people had it as their top choice, then when you get down to that score of total 10, two people had it as their last mm -hmm. choice, right? Yeah. Is that yep. Right? So George so had it count? second choice, middle of the row, two people had it as their last, two people had it as their first. What a variety. Okay, right? yeah, I, I'm getting it. Okay, never mind. So, but it's still out of the eight. Yeah. It was still the top three. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, 10, 8, and 7. This is why ranked voting is very confusing on the municipal level when yeah. it comes to I think voting for representatives, I think right? Yeah, that may be a valid question. <laughs> Well, after this exercise, it's <laughs> universal to me. Before, I know. Okay. Well, so, that's interesting. Yeah. 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 So this one will need. He's been working well in Maine. Mm -hmm. Brittany's determination. Okay. Yes. But right now, the top three, as they stand, are increased pedestrian safety and access, develop safe interconnected bicycle network, pursue opportunities to expand transit service in Southampton. So the order was what? I had I wrote down four three two. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, four two three. At uh, four two three. Four, right. four, four two, two three. I was just three. reading them. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, we don't know, first. right? Until okay. until that so, right. that vote's included, okay. we don't necessarily know. So I'm just. Oops. Brittany's coming. No oh, perfect. Okay. Hey. <laughs> she responded. Yay. <laughs> she probably needed to escape. Uh, that's good. Of course, she doesn't know what she's walking into here, though. We'll have to give her a few minutes to figure out what she wrote. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. She's gonna, she this wrote is, that this down. I, I like this place. Without I looking at the goals, the but to lay them up, how is she going to know if I know. two meant this and this yeah. meant that? Because then we'll be forced to make a decision and then talk around, you know, and discuss the positives rather than going off each on our own. So she's going to need a few minutes. Or I happen to have them hang well, up here. She, oh, you do she, too. I, I wrote them out for her, and I have them. No, but in terms of the, oh, the folders. The, the yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah. Oh, OK. I don't know. Because she needs to know. What you know, she wrote. Yeah, what, there's no way I'd be able to pick up the sheet and say, oh, yeah, it's 5-3 is my number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or she could just look at the, some of these things right here. So I can find five I think first. It's, Easy. Yours are easier. I think these are easier. Oh, yours are much easier. Okay. They're in the you, you're yeah. in the book. They're in the, the back of your book. Yeah, I was yeah. going to do this. So. Yeah. I think she just needs to look at yours. Yeah. She needs to look at it. Yeah. Okay. At least in order. Okay. Okay. Well, why don't we go on to the next one? I'll wait for her. Yeah. That's good. That so. <laughs> Chapter six. Yes. Services. So chapter six, we have two in the top tier. Um, the first vote getter continue to protect Southampton's public water supply and the Barnes Aquifer for generations to come and ensure that all infrastructure is up to date with 14 points. That one is the leader and it did not include Brittany's vote. But it would have been either 15, 16, or 17 points, depending on how. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. We actually don't need you at all. We're just trying to get you out of the meeting. <laughs> no, really? If that was true? <laughs> no, <it> was. <laughs> Remember, the cameras, are rolling. <laughs> the cameras are rolling. No. <laughs> so this is what you got. Right. So what we need to do is have you wait, because they were numerical. Yes, they sure. were. And I honestly, if you wanted to, I you could look yeah, really okay. decide. So if you wanted to just look at this, okay. just, just while we're going through this, sure. you can just, if you want them in different order than that, that's fine. Yeah. 
just the first one relies solely on your decision. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. So maybe we, can we move on so she can take a yeah. moment? We'll go through six because six is um, yeah. six is outstanding in terms of the results. So it's goal 6-1, continue to protect Southampton's public water supply, bars aquifer for generations to come, and ensure that all infrastructure is up to date. So the strategies, and I'm going to go through this because this one does stand out. The only one, the runner-up has 11 points. Which is which one? Which is which one? Which is established land use and development policies that respond to infrastructure capacity. Number four. Four, correct. 6-4. Okay. Um, and then the third one? Uh, third, we have a couple of fours. Looks like we got a couple tied for third with four points. So we have 6 3, mm -hmm. public wastewater, mm -hmm. and 6 8. So that's amazing how you weighted this one toward the top tier. Mm -hmm. It's a real consensus on this one. It gives direction, right? I mean, it in terms of does. In terms of where the, it's a clear mandate in this chapter. Yeah. So one was one, mm -hmm. and four was two. Four, four was two. two. And three is on the side. Yeah. So three and eight were tied for three. Okay. Do you have yes. it for all the chapters? Or oh, just five. Just five. No. Was it just five? Oh, no, no. We need five. five, 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 five. <laughs> Sorry. 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 And so oh, we're boy. we're giving a point. Three, point, three, three points for the first one. If you had to skip one, one, you can skip six. One. You can probably can skip, skip six. six. Yeah. Okay. I think that's pretty. All right. I don't think your vote's going to change. Nope. Okay. Well, the third, the third or the third. Or the third. The third. Well, it's only it only had four points. So it's only going to go up to seven points. Oh. Right, but I mean, do we have to give three, one, two, three, or can we just give one, two for our rank? We're just looking for a top one. No, for five, five matters. Whether it's. Two no, no, I'm sorry. For each chapter, we we want to three. communicate back our top three. Mm -hmm. In order. So we don't really have a third one that's solid in six. No. Correct. No six. She can skip over six. Six has an but outlier. It was tied. Number three was tied. The third place was tied. Between third place was tied with four points. Yes. So her three isn't going to matter. So she can skip six. Her three points for her top choice, even if it was among that, only brings it up to seven, which is nowhere near the 14 points for. The no, but it would clearly no, make us a solid number three versus but the two choice that are between tied. The third. Between oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So that's between what we're wastewater and schools. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> no, I, get I was just looking clearly at the, yeah, <laughs> the top two. Right. My top two. Top two were clear in six, but if Correct. you want three. I think three. I'm, I get you. And then seven's important as well with the boat. <laughs> yep. So you responded to an email that quickly. Came up on her. It was a text Smart message. Oh, well, okay. it came up as a text. Even mm -hmm. though it went to your email. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have your phone. Huh. Oh, yeah. No, it came up as a text message. After yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of these, honestly. I know. I feel like I don't know enough about to really have a say. So eight, we, draw to the next. we can move ahead to eight. Um, Did we do seven? We have, oh, we're waiting on seven. Okay, because they're close. All right, let's do eight. So eight. Eight, top choice is eight-two. 
promote land use development patterns that protect the town's natural resources and rural community character. Coming in second was improved ease of permitting in town and land use administration. What number is that? 8 4. 4? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, so 8 2 and 4, is it? 8 2, two then four. 8 4. And then third is 8 1, enhance the unique characteristics and assets of planning focused areas in town. Like we didn't do seven yet, did we? No, no. we okay. didn't. Okay. All right, I have mine. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> do I have to present them? Yes. <laughs> if we had to run, we can. Yeah. Do, you do, do you want me to read them? Sorry. Do you want me to read them? Yes. There you go. Thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for coming up. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Did you finish with chapter five for her? Um, I need her. So her first rank was five two. Her, her second rank was five three. Oh, sorry, five five. This is chapter five, and her third was three. It's three. Okay. Okay. So that puts <laughs> new total. So two. That puts increased pedestrian safety and access as number one. Which one? So is what that? number is that? Really? Five dash two. So in five, it's now two. Five two mm -hmm. is number one. Yeah. Five four is number two. Wow, that really changed things. Huh? Well. <laughs> yeah. And then. Wow. Five three is number three. Oh. Yeah, that really did change. Two four three. Two four I mean, three. This is like night and day. That'll be eight. And then two. Three. Two. Three. Okay. Okay. And then six. you want number tell me when you want six. I am ready for six. Okay, six. First one is one. So one is one. One is one. Yep. Two is eight. Two is eight. Yep. And three is three. Three is three. Six dash one is fifteen. So one is still one. One is still one. No change. And then six dash four is two. Yeah. So six. Eight. And that should be the third. Six eight. Fifteen. 11, 6, Support South Hammond's Public Elementary School. So 8 is eight is the third one? Yes. Okay. So 3 dropped off then. So 1, 4, 8. Yes. Yeah. The sewer. The municipal sewer system. Up. Loses again. So there's a senior <clears throat> How do we get one pair? For seven. Five, six, and seven. Yep. Okay. One is one. One is one. Okay. Three is two. Three is two. Okay. Four is three. Four is three. Okay. That was in order. Seven. Six. So 7-1 is still 1, 7-2 still 2, 
And we have a tie for third. Oh, I'm sorry, no, we do not. 7 4 is third. Strictly Brittany. That's all I was reading. Okay. So right now for eight, we have eight dash two is first. Yep. And then eight dash four is second. Mm -hmm. And eight dash one is third. Okay. So it's really that first one. Really. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll wrap a little bit. But they're both there. It's just the So do we want to talk through these? Now that we know where we are. I, something that jumps out at me that I noticed in this ranking was the sense from my well-respected colleagues on this table, the, dis the disappointment in some of you of the sewer infrastructure. So I want to hear more about that, because before we started this MPI process, I would have thought that would be number one, too. But after talking about it, I got the sense, despite ideas I had in my head about how it could be done, when we discussed it, it seemed like, no, you can't do that. and you know, can't do this, and that would require a pump station, and a lot of obstacles. So I kind of took it off my radar as this is just not feasible yet. Some folks thought very differently, so I'm curious. I, I, I want to learn more. For those of you who thought it was really important, why you think it's important? And such a different outcome that I came from after having this process about that. I think part of it with the, the goal of still trying to look at attracting businesses to town, whatever those might be. Right. Obviously not everything needs a sewer system no matter you know what kind of business you have. Right. I think the thing that had me look back at it again is the presentation we had at Select Board, which was on small sewer systems, which are not running along the entire length of College Highway through town, but they are discrete mm -hmm. area-based things that can be put, infrastructure that can be put in place uh, that is not certainly as costly or as extensive as a full sewer system along town, which is, I think, what had been the, the earlier plans, which were really right, you know, much Indies, more than Stanton. Right, and this is, these as it was presented to us, I mean, they'll still be costly, but I mean, it was a much more feasible kind of option. So it's like large-scale septic systems, essentially? <sighs> it can oh, take on a... I, I don't know the technicalities yeah. of it, but the fact that it could be pockets. Yeah, um, certain areas of town yeah. where... Yeah. That are independent of a sewage collection system that you have for like a town. The, yeah. They, they yeah. operate their pocket and they operate yeah. independently. I think so. Yes, you wouldn't have to have a treatment plan or no. something like that. There is, for what it's worth, the, the presentation itself was, was videoed and it's up on the, on the town website. Okay. So you can look at it. It was actually quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, it was news to most of us, frankly, but it's under... Well, it's news to me yeah. because uh, I don't know if we discussed it here. If we mm -hmm. did, I spaced out and I don't recollect it, but you both on the select board, you heard it. I don't recall that. Because that would change my thinking about sewer infrastructure as a priority quite a bit, just hearing you describe it. I was under the old model that, you know, we have to run something up College Highway, tie in East Hampton. Mm -hmm. tie or Westfield or Holt. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Going the other way. Or I, I even, I remember I proposed the, the thought that, you know, when you put in the greenway and the bike path that you could run sewer down the bike path. and. As I recall, Mike kind of said, that's not so easy as it sounds. Um, you know, digging in the bed and all that changes everything. You got the trucks on that bed, they can't take that capacity. The bed can't handle that weight of truck. So 
from my naive, naive standpoint, all the ideas I had seemed to be like good ideas, mm -hmm. but they're not going to work. So people. this is a new yeah. idea. So this was a new sort of a new technology, if you will. <coughs> yeah. The new technology that was a presentation was at the select board along with the fiber optic the same night. Actually, it was the same night that Mike was. <laughs> as a matter of right. fact, so I was there was for busy, like it was a busy, five minutes. Busy night. I remember the sewer <laughs> one starting, and I just I had yeah. to leave. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah. But it does exist. On, you can take a look and watch. Because it. having sewer infrastructure does open a lot of possibilities, not just for businesses mm -hmm. and shifting that tax base, but mm -hmm. from a housing authority right. perspective, multifamily or Multi cluster families. housing, Correct. et cetera. There's a lot of options there. So I'm very intrigued. Let me ask. Oh, oh, sorry, Francis. No, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to ask in terms of the housing aspect. Yeah. If um, a developer came in with a proposal to do a cluster kind of housing, um, would we not expect that the developer would put their own mini waste treatment system into place? That's probably the wrong word. Large septic system, not waste treatment. Well, um, uh, for example, what is the system in um, whatever it's called, Glendale Village, I guess, um, next or Palmer Village next to the school? What kind of, um, do they have their own? Large septic system? I, sure. I don't they even each know. Each have individual. I don't right. know. Right. It's just extremely perkable there, and they're very lucky. I don't know. Yeah, that would be in that gravel primary recharge area. So it's probably just yeah, it's fortunate probably that it's very individual or or a septic system per building. Right. I'm not yeah. sure about that. That's yeah. my guess. That's yeah. a guess. So my answer to that would be, again, from not a real knowledge standpoint, but. I think that would be part of it. We're trying to make it attractive for builders, and probably builders haven't done that because mm -hmm. that's an expense. Well, it would be a good question to pose to them as to whether or not this is a, a major barrier for them. It would be, but well, again, that? I suspect that they're usually ahead of this curve on, you know, they're looking for what's buildable, what's workable, and they've probably already explored that because they haven't built this because it does, it's not profitable. If you build it on a community level, it needs to be maintained by the community, right? right? So the developer either maintains it or the homeowners association, yeah. which would have to be created, would have to maintain right. it. It would have to be built into the you know community. Exactly, and that becomes part of the, the buying, right? You're going to buy that, you buy into this mm -hmm. for the life of the home. So it, it, it may be something that they're... They come across, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. And, and I think the flip side of the question is, your, your sort of preface to what you just talked about mm -hmm. was everybody kind of thought it was a good idea initially that we should have a town-wide waste treatment plant, but maybe we're not putting that in the top priority any longer. That was your what you started with by saying it sounded like we we're all thinking it was a good idea, and now it's gone down in priority a little bit for us. And what I wonder is, would that really draw more businesses? Well, so just, that, that's you know, my devil's advocate question. Yes. Is right. we could here's a billion dollars. Build anything you want. Yeah. Are the economic drivers still here to make a business move, or do they want to be in an area where you're, let's say East Hampton, right, the Mills area? You're kind of close, mm -hmm. and there's lots of things around. So it's it's a probably friendlier to work in in terms of those little work events, right? Like you're going to go get lunch with people, right? It's walking distance, all those different things. Mm -hmm. right? some, some companies look at that now, right? It is a little different. And, yeah. yeah. From a devil's advocate, is it, if you built it, would, well, that is the data question. there that they would yeah. still come? Yeah. If you build it, will they come? Right. Or should we have a plan, an idea of what we would like to see there? Right. <clears throat> and then build yeah. around that. Yeah. And so far, no one has materialized with that. Right. Yeah. Or, or you create a sort of trust fund that allows for this to be built, and it's flexible for who wants to come in. This is the incentive. Because business, you know, the idea, I mean, devil's advocate, that, you know, bringing in commercial 
it's going to pay our taxes doesn't necessarily work. Well, right now we yeah. have no commercial yeah. tax rate. Right. right. We don't. There's no differentiation same. anyway. Right. Right. So, so how like much more revenue is it going to bring? Maybe not much more. But if you have the with the if you have the infrastructure possibility, then mm -hmm. you have both the option mm -hmm. for business or for cluster development. Mm -hmm. You you build the potential there, mm -hmm. which is now there's. No potential. Mm -hmm. So I had a conversation with the gentleman who owns the package store, the, the store that was the UPS store. Mm -hmm. His name is it's Mr. Now Richards. Energy Care. Yeah. Yes. And it's uh, he lost the opportunity to stay in that location, which he loved. It met all his needs, but Cooley Dickinson Hospital came in with um, a, an offer that nobody could refuse, and they have a 20-year lease on that. They wanted that location, which is now an urgent care yeah. center, right there in the big Y plaza. He was a big so he, I said to him, why didn't you go somewhere else in Southampton? Nothing met his, uh, his uh, sort of needs in terms of the size of space, the fact that he has trucks coming in and out all the time, because that's the kind of business he has. Mm -hmm. He has mm -hmm. the UPS and the delivery and the yeah. pickup and the whole thing. And there was one other aspect that About was... the old peoples? Well, it isn't an old peoples yet. Yeah, it's going to be an old It's got another year to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, don't, I didn't specifically mm -hmm. point to that. But So it goes to show that he was fine having a business in town. Mm -hmm. Didn't have an issue, although I don't know, do they have their own septic system for the big white plaza? They must. Mm -hmm. Aren't they tied to DC? Yeah, they're they're part part of, they're they're tied to DC. Uh, yeah. yeah. But either way, his need isn't a full... So he only, system, right? He exactly. would only need, he could he could have a building with a septic system. Right. And he just fine. has he for employees. employees. That's right. really right. it in hand washing. Yeah. He doesn't have yeah. um, he's not a, a restaurant or a or a manufacturing or a car wash. Yeah. So I just I don't know the answer because I'm not sure yeah. if you build it they will come. Yeah. I, I no, and I think I think that's a discussion for for later on probably. But but I think it would be worthwhile just just for your information to you know get on the Southampton TV channel mm -hmm. and just look under select board on the, on the TV you know the way it's categorized there. And it was a June end of June meeting and it's it's labeled out. It's singled out as like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's worth it worth mm -hmm. taking a look at Absolutely. just to see what you think about it. But I'm very curious about the technology because. Um, some of the reason that we need, like in downtown, right here in the right. center, we um, need sewer because the soil is so poor. Mm -hmm. So the suggestion that it might be a large septic system doesn't make any sense because if the soil conditions were conducive to uh, per percolation. percolation, yeah, percolation, then people would have their own perk site. So that that mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. or that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm I wonder what they are proposing. Could it be uh, collection facilities that then have to be pumped and taken to other waste, waste treatment plants? I don't believe it was. No, I don't believe so. I, yeah. Honestly, I'd have to go back well, and we review it. Sleep. But it, it's I don't believe it was that. No, it seemed to be pretty self-contained. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Well, maybe it's some kind of processing that's not like a water treatment facility, mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, or, or doesn't take as much or yeah. something like right. that. I, I can't like remember. Dry toilet, you you'd have like a camper or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Because when we think of trying to reuse the old town hall, wasn't that one of the barriers that if you put too much capacity in there, even toilets, well, whatever, yeah. it, it, there's no sewer system to handle it. But if mm -hmm. this technology allowed that, then you have some potential for that old building. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, a lot of this comes in. You know, what's the yeah. what's the cost for yeah. this right. kind of thing? Yeah. But I'm I'm a bit more intrigued than I was hearing this, mm -hmm. and so that might have changed my thinking and my yeah. vote. That's what it comes around yeah. full circle. Okay. Just to say that it's it's a it's a different option. It may not may still not be feasible mm -hmm. or desirable, but it's definitely a a different option than the whole notion of you know lining the entire <laughs> corridor of Route Ten. So mm -hmm. it, it at least presented a, a different. Um, perspective on what could be possible. And again, in, in isolated pockets as identified that would need it, whether that be for cluster housing, whether it be for a small business that actually mm -hmm. had to have some sort of treatment. So, Were they suggesting that it would be a more economical option than laying in? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So, I'll have to go
go back and watch the tape again myself. I, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, was, but it, would, it would not cost. It was just a present cost to do. Just, you know what we thought we had to do, like a kind of an all or nothing thing. Right. This was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So did the much. select board take this as a priority, or what was? No. Is there like another step? Like there was information. Look on. into it more. It only it was. We haven't decided. Yeah. And yeah. then some of that should come from this. I think yeah. some of this can come too. Then we set the priorities. Yeah. That Mm -hmm. need to be looked into. It was informational along with Energy. the presentation on fiber optic. Right. So those were two things that happened that same night. Mm -hmm. I, um, I almost feel like we shouldn't completely rule this out for our prioritization because Why? otherwise, I mean, granted, we have no this ranking system. It, what? No one voted for it. For which one? What are we talking about? Does, Is it the septic? Sewer? septic? No one I mean, voted for it? not to be the, the guy with the I hard did. line, but we... I gave it my third vote. But if... But it's not, I mean. It didn't reach the ranking Right, system. so the point of this was to develop the highest priority. I understand, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not viable, but for at least this yeah. presentation. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get into the right chapter, though, because it's not even. Yeah, we're right, let's, yeah. let's go back to chapter five and see yes. where we are. This was six. We jumped ahead in terms of. Okay, yeah. So chapter five was increased pedestrian safety and access. <laughs> um, five dash two. We've completed five dash two A. Yeah. Five dash two B. Develop a plan to construct a comprehensive sidewalk system that connects residential, commercial, agricultural, institutional, and recreational areas, which is great. Um, I, I mean, from my opinion, just looking at it, I see the bike path as part of that. Um, but that's just, Although that comes in in a different way. It right? does, right? <laughs> but when, when you think about connecting it, like, what's the easiest way to do it, um, or at least to get the most bang yeah. for the buck? Um, and then incorporate complete streets elements into local roadway projects to encourage a multimodal transportation system. So you see that on the safe um, safe routes to school, right? So complete streets includes multi-use paths, so those six foot wide paths. So basically you can have two wheelchairs passing at the same time. You can have different... Um, Baby carriages going both ways. Yeah. Same yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so what were the numbers again? For five, five dash two had eleven. Two. Five dash four had ten. Five dash three had eight. Mm -hmm. So five dash three develop a safe interconnected bicycle network. That was the third choice, yeah. Yeah. And five dash four was about um, pursue opportunities to expand transit service in South. Yeah. I mean, I have, for me, a problem with how that came out. So, Not so the match fine, but it's close. Okay. We finished? Five dash four. Transit service. So, am I right? I think, Francine, you know the answer to this. Franklin County Regional Transit Authority is the one that currently serves. Right, them. not PDPC. PDPC no longer, or maybe they did eight years ago or something, but... They don't now. They don't they now, did. and it's a problem. And yes. so, actually, there should be kind of a... Part of that should be a linking with the other transit authorities. Because if somebody wants to go to Springfield, they got to link up with PVPC. Because that serves Springfield, correct? Because Franklin Transit yes. Authority does not serve Springfield. No. We're the only town in all of Hampshire County that uses Franklin County Regional. And do we know why? Because, because our application was late. That was what I was told. So by the time they figured this whole thing out, we came to the party too late to be part of the PVPC. That was my understanding. And when is it renewed? I don't you know. When, I don't know when it happened, but well, I mean, we can't get into contracts. No, working, what, it's three that, years, right? that's right. too late. Yeah, unless they're special. The, you know, we're looking. Can where can we kind of set up a, a like a transfer station? Like when do you get off yes, of PVPC exactly. and get on to FRTA? You know, one of those things. But they don't even come through Southampton. This is the yeah. issue, and I don't know who. Who does East Hampton PVPC. serve by? PVPC. Oh my gosh. So people need a ride to East Hampton to get PVPC to then go and to Holyoke. Westfield <coughs> at the Holyoke. To go anywhere. Can you believe it? Yeah. If they want to go. Mm -hmm. But even to, to use public transportation here at all requires driving to get to that right. public to, transportation. To get true. That's right not why that. I'm not yeah. quite sure it's feasible for this town either. You're going to have to drive to get to the oh. bus. 
Yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, I thought when I first moved here, there was a bus that, that picked people up at the big white shopping center yeah. and took you into Northampton. It goes, goes into East Hampton. There is. Um, okay. There's the, um, maybe the National Monarch Express out of East Hampton that comes in there. Really? Definitely okay. East Hampton. East Hampton buses into Big Y. Okay. They do. Okay, right. so there, there's something. Doesn't really serve Southampton. No, but, but I, hear what, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, you do need transportation. Yeah. I mean, I think, yeah. But that, that shorter distance transportation is easier for people to get than it is if they got to a place where they could get a ride to their destination. Mm -hmm. But is it a specific destination or is it to a public destination that they then have to find transportation? It's a, it's a combination of both. Yeah. I, it really is. You know, I like I talk about this, the challenge for the, the senior center, and I need to talk to you about this okay. too after the meeting, um, is the fact that we have one van, one driver, and if there's conflicting appointments, somebody loses out right. unless we yeah. can find someone in the community who can, who can pick them yeah. up. Yeah. But I think that the thinking behind this goal, though, mm -hmm. right, is, is much broader than just focusing yes. on the senior center. I mean, I think the whole yeah, notion right. of public <coughs> in this town right. to get anywhere. I mean, yes. you know, people that wanted to live on Palmer Meadow and work in Northampton, for example, great ideal, you know, locations, Cheaper housing than downtown Northampton, but you can't get there unless you got a car, right? So I mean, I think we're trying and to look at. And then if you have a car, then you have to pay for the parking, which is a big barrier for people right. to be doing. So I mean, I think I think we're trying to look at things that you know whether they're feasible or not. I don't know that we can decide that now, but at least it's it's something to look at. Is like this is an important thing that's lacking in Northampton, I think, is public transport. In I know. I'd argue another but, point that it will take so much. You have to drive to get to the bus and then probably find transportation once you get off of the bus. And it takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes more time as well than if you can hop in the car and drive to <laughs> East Hampton and park outside the, your destination. But when you don't have a car or, you're too, or you can't drive a car any longer, you know, I keep waiting. I hope these driverless cars are, are perfected <laughs> before I lose my driver's license. Move I would suggest <laughs> then that Southampton get some more vans themselves we that, that would any, be you know, yeah well, well that's the solution yes yeah because right, that's the same problem in Chesterfield or any of the hill towns sure yeah. you know, there's no public transportation but the, I think what you're saying is it's just not the volume or the and the proximity even. and the density of the population that's what makes public transportation yeah. work yeah. right anyway <clears throat> I would um this is are we done that? I didn't. I don't need to interrupt. Mm -hmm. um, one reason that I didn't um, put any, I didn't mark the um, interconnected bike network as a priority, is because I thought that that was actually incorporated in the complete streets of five two. Would you not say that that's true to encourage yes. multimodal transportation system? Wouldn't th wouldn't that imply bicycle network? Yeah, mm -hmm. for the complete streets. Yeah, that is yeah. Yeah. part of it, right? So the I thought way. that was redundant. Redundant. I, I I didn't vote for that because I thought that was already part of uh, goal five two. Mm -hmm. Just just that's a point. I think that's you said that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the complete street, there's there's m always more to it, right? There's sidewalk widths, there's bicycle lanes, there's just well, that added is true, but we've, situations. we've determined that that is the number one priority. I'm just saying that it didn't. This uh, goal three didn't doesn't seem. It, it seems incorporated into two and right. not necessarily needing to be prioritized because it would be taken care of within the complete streets. So I think three almost expands on two a little bit because they talk about yeah. um, three have the green way, right? multi use trail, bicycle racks, See, which are kind of. Yeah, that's the only place that that's really. Very, that wouldn't be included in, in place, complete streets? The, the rail trail? Oh, I wouldn't think so. The rail trail? No. no, but the bike racks would be. 
Um, yeah, I mean, to, to I'll be honest with you, that in terms of a strategy is kind of a, yeah, yeah. it's kind of a, realistically, a thousand dollars, you can buy the bike racks and install them, right? So that, that strategy to me is a, yeah. it's kind of a, that's you take of care of it in your own budget yeah, process yeah. type of thing. Part of the problem with these is you've got decent strategy or goals, but the, some of the strategies underneath them are just like, yeah, you know, just needed to add a third one there. You know, it can be done in you know a week if you wanted to do it, or it's going to take forever because it's costly. Or right. you know, it, it, they're all over the place. <laughs> but yeah. But so think, are we married to the strategies? I think. I mean, uh, looking that this was done mean? how many years ago? If you still agree with 13, the, actually the destination of some of these goals. So but if we feel that a way of getting there, but that's not up to us. To no, I know, I know, but no. I'm just, I'm just. We, we never you know, liked some of the wording of the strategies. But, yeah. but I would say, like the rail trail, would be in 5-2, right? I mean, I think from a conversation yeah. piece. That trail was pretty prevalent, and it aligns with 5-2, right? Mm -hmm. Comprehensive sidewalk system that connects everything, right? Residential, commercial, agricultural, institutional, recreational areas. You're not going to be able to like the build village. a true sidewalk system up and down every street, but if you can build a giant one that cuts through the town, and then you have branches to get to places you need. It's, it's kind of how I see it. So in my opinion, no, I don't think we're married to the strategies. And I think there's some strategies that should be kind of lumped into some of the other goals. So you're saying that we might at some point recommend that two and three are combined, the goals are combined? Well, I think, yeah, yeah I mean, like we talked about it. I mean, I don't know how everyone else feels, but if I had my opinion, I would just remove 5-3C. But that. Just the bicycle and ankle strategy, just because it just seems kind of like it's great, but 5-3B's the big one right there. Mm -hmm. um, work with Mass DOT District to incorporate consistent shoulder width along Route 10 corridor. That's, that's always happened. So, right? so Whenever it, Mass DOT does a road job, they work with the town of, to do that. So it's, yeah. it works its own process. It happens. Mm -hmm. So what Chris just said was combine to two and three, which or would make add them three like, B to two, or to five two, right? Move it up there or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. What do you think? Add three. Put three B into two, which is ranked number one for us. Two in chapter five, goal two. And it is kind of in there anyway. It just makes sense to you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Put that in there. But I think the pedestrian safety and access that to me doesn't speak rail trail though. Pedestrian safety. I'm but sure it does, the it strategy. Gives a safer place to walk. Yeah. If you're going in that direction. Well, access. Right? <laughs> I mean, well, some people are. I suppose, yeah. I mostly when they're walking, they're walking for exercise. exercise. Yeah. They're not walking to. I mean, if you were to if you were to poll a group of people in the town about what's the most important thing to do, pedestrian and recreation related in town they're going to say the rail trail, right? I agree. No, I Without agree. even being prompted with anything written here, that will more than likely be yeah. the consensus yeah. for the, right. you know, the majority. Yeah. So. No, I just think that with, with the way the goal, too, is, I mean, the sidewalks at Norris School, that's been done, right? Yep. The complete streets is something that probably, you know, as we do the East Street changeover, I mean, they were talking in the last meeting about having a, a separate bike lane and all that stuff. Or part of it is it, all that gets incorporated, I think, into the current planning of streets and mm -hmm. highways and whatever else. So those are kind of out of the way. This comprehensive sidewalk system, though, I was envisioning that meaning to go like from I don't know, I don't know, Clark Chapman down to Sheldon's, for example, or something. I mean, that's yeah. that's I don't know the that's best. Cool. <laughs> that's Mass <laughs> DOT. So I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's not doable. Right. Yeah. It's but, I mean, not in the foreseeable future. That to me is a different thing when, when it's looking at you know the comprehensive sidewalk system is different to me than the bike yeah. network. But yeah. that's all I. It's just a minor difference. Yeah. But I think to the extent we could combine it and put the bike system, the railway rail trail in, I, I think we would 
not been doing a good thing to leave out the rail trail. I guess that's yeah. point. We, I mm -hmm. think we should have to put it in somewhere, wherever it fits. So are we agreeing that in terms of our rank ordering of Chapter 5, we've got goal number 2 as our number 1, but we're including within goal number 2, 3B. Is this true? Is that what we've agreed to? I like that. It makes sense. I think, I think for 5, the priority is 5-2 which includes comprehensive sidewalk systems. It includes continued use of complete streets design elements mm -hmm. in mass DOT projects. Mm -hmm. And the Southampton Greenway. We can include the bicycle racks. But I feel like it, it adds, it's like one of those extra things on there that really takes you away from what the real, the real heart of it is. I don't see people riding if you wanted to ride a bicycle to come pay your taxes, a bike rack wouldn't stop you from doing that. Right. Well, there right. is a bike rack here. Okay. If you wanted to ride a bicycle to go to Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. a bike rack wouldn't stop Current you. location. Current yeah. location. A bike rack wouldn't stop you, though, right? I mean, it's putting a bike rack isn't going to make people ride bikes yeah. places. But the, but the safe bike lanes and right. the bike path. And the right. bike lanes, the bike path, like that's what's going to get people to ride bikes. Well, and then... Once we get our greenway, you know, uh, East Hampton has, I just saw it the other day, they've installed these sort of public bicycles. Yeah, public bicycles. They have in North Hampton, the ele they're electric. The electric right. Oh, they're e-bikes too. Electric. Yes. I mean, you, you pedal, uh, uh, except it's the, 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 electric, the, electric, the electrical part of it kicks in when you're going up hills and stuff like that. Yeah. You need extra, extra push. Yeah. yeah, but also to your point about the bike racks, I mean, those are easy installs. Yeah, this is not. Yeah, a, they're not. Yeah, it's $300 for concrete yes. anchors yeah. and they're in the ground. Yeah. We don't need a special mandate from yeah. right. this committee. All those are accessory things. things that can happen. I think they're a good yeah. thing to have because yeah. they encourage yeah. use, but it's not hard. Okay. They're great community preservation. So we're basically agreed to this thing. Yes. Yep. Okay. And I think, so just to, to follow up with that on our second place, pursue opportunities to expand transit service in Southampton. I think that's a goal and strategy worth noting. But I think it's something that's, at least in my opinion, something that should be almost pursued outside of the master plan, right? Because if it is such a serious public need today, for residents, then it should be tackled as a, you know, public, I don't want to say, I mean, it's a public issue, right? If we don't have anything, if we've signed up for the wrong transit authority because we were late, then oh, someone else should want to that, fix that. We but, shouldn't have to tell them to fix but that. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that the that. service would necessarily be any different. It would just well, be. We get, it would just be a different provider. It would well, be more connected. Right. Well, it'd be more. Well, connected. no, it would be more connected. Yeah, yes. be, the service would be different because yes. you could go from place. So to I think it's, I think it's worth mentioning that this was the second highest. Um, you know, we had the second highest results for this, but it's also a known issue today that needs resolution. Right, goals and strategies are about. I think a lot of these are about improving or making better, not yeah. fixing the wrong See, yeah, almost. And as far yeah. as I know, the FRTA only does transportation for the senior center. It doesn't do it for the general public, at least that I'm no, aware they of. They don't zip by Whereas the way. PVPC yeah. does both, I believe, general public <clears throat> and yes. special transportation. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what we're missing. Yes. So if we can even just get FRTA right. to do some yeah. other type of transfer, yeah. you know, public transportation, that would that would yeah. at least be an, an improvement over what we have right now. Well, and it might be, I mean, maybe it's, you know, it may be something, because heaven knows the Greenway has been hanging around for how many years, right. and we're still waiting on figuring out whatever the funding source is to buy the rail bed, right? So, I mean, it may be that the public, I'm not sure, the public transport, transit one, Right. Is a quicker action. Could be right. done in a year cycle, and Correct. the other one That's takes two years or three years. Or something. Right. I mean, it might be, it's not that it's necessarily a higher priority per se, but it's just that it's something that could be more, you know, doable, that famous low hanging fruit, which yeah. I. Achievable time mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, something yeah. more achievable, perhaps, yeah. depending on, at least if it's just getting more vans or, you know, whatever that is. 
Yeah, I'm waiting for it. It's another story. But we'll like it. So well, with the van that we currently have, that that picks up seniors at their door and takes, them, them, takes them to the door. A destination. Yes. A destination. Mm -hmm. So is that what you're referring to for better public transportation? No, no. Or? I'm also talking about just public transportation. On a, on a route like when I was a kid, if I wanted to go downtown Pittsburgh from the suburbs, I got a bus. Yeah. Well, you of can't course. do that here. I and I would argue that it's not feasible. There's not enough volume, and it's too hard. I think that the van style okay. um, service is much more appropriate to Southampton, and I would like to see it include all ages as well. Mm -hmm. That that you pay, you call. You're picked up and you're taken mm -hmm. to your destination. Mm -hmm. I think that would be used much more than. No, oh, I, 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 I agree with you, and I, I, yes, I understand about the volume and people don't live in the kind of clustered kind. Do you know what I mean? Where there's a bus stop and there'll be ten people waiting. It's not going to happen. Sure, I understand that. It's a culture thing, and in yeah. a lot of ways, I lived in West Springfield. There was public transportation. I never took it because I was so used to my car, you know, mm -hmm. so it was, yeah. it's just kind of a culture thing. But yeah, we would have to put on vans, then van drivers, and I mean, there's, you know, that takes on a life of its own. Well, that is true, but cost-wise, I wonder about it, too. What does it cost to have a bus running through town? The town pays for that, correct? We have a grant. That's all the, the, the for transportation the FRTA. for the senior center yeah. is through a grant only. Yeah, but if a bus was to run through town. Yeah. Well, if there was something from Westfield that goes to East Hampton, whatever that is, mm -hmm. go, could we not have three bus stops in Southampton? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Well, that's, 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 that's the, not as feasible. But it's not, as but it's not that I it's, think it's for us exactly. dedicated. It's, it's just on its, it's going way. through anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. We know that's the problem with not being partnered with PBTA. So PVTA runs a bus from Northampton to Holyoke. Yep. On this side of the mountain range, would they run a bus from Northampton to Westfield? Maybe if they had Southampton, mm -hmm. there might be some ridership okay. there. And they might. But since they don't, because we relate to that party. Yeah. They might. They may need to do a feasibility study as well, because if they felt like there might be four riders a week, they may say that's not enough. Right. Think, yeah. You know. Right. I mean, I know that you know they've been petitioned to reroute and add add another route to to places they currently go. I mean, for example, over on Route 66 on what's what's that called? It's Route 66. So the the border between East Hampton and West Hampton area. As you're going to Florence, there's the county jail, and it, the bus used to come from Northampton, stop at the mm -hmm. county jail, and turn around. Citizens petitioned, and they've got it now going all the way up. Florence Road, so it's taking a right and going up Florence Road toward the mill area. But that's because citizens said, "Hey, look, we need, you know, right. mm -hmm. service." And so now they've they've actually put in two bus stops along that route. So mm -hmm. I mean, it can happen. It's just a, again, it's the volume question. I think Christine mm -hmm. is right on that in terms of the, you know, what's what's the level of demand. And I don't know, but anyway, I, it's something to at least. I think put forth and said we think it's a need somehow some sort of public transport however it looks whether yeah. it's a series of vans that whatever steps can be taken to Mike's point earlier just because we're ranking these doesn't mean we're dismissing the other ones so no yeah. not at all yeah. 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 so moving on to six yes let's yeah. we had um, six dash one continue to protect Southampton's public water supply and the Barnes Aquifer for generations to come and assure that all infrastructure is up to date and in good repair. That so was a clear one, right? Yeah, clear with 15 points. It's there. Now, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I believe that. I just didn't have that as my, no, I did have that as my first one. I thought I didn't. I'm sorry. I did have that one. My, my, this was my confusion, though, because, again, some things uh, didn't seem feasible. The water tank is happening now. The water line to connect East Street, I didn't think we knew whether that was feasible. Piping into Pequot Road and the contaminated wells and all these other things. Mm -hmm. I think in some of our discussions, they seemed like pretty, pretty non-achievable things. And so, again, as important as that goal is, some of these things just didn't fit for me. <laughs> but so, is it? Do we I know? Are we doing? Are we building a water tank to strengthen water capacity? Well, we're doing the the new well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We did that. We got a new well. 
approved. It's in the process. Okay. Oh, where? So, yeah. A new town well? They're re no, what are they doing? They're rebuilding the down. Okay. You mean off Glendale Road? Uh, I, I, this is the first time. No, there's a no. It's not in the order. No, I'm trying to I'm trying. Uh, break it up. It's uh, something, it got approved at town meeting a couple of years ago. The money's finally just come in. There's a new pumping station? Pumping that station. Was, that's oh, pumping pumping, pumping right. station. Oh, that's that's right. I was going to say treatment, Sorry. and pumping treatment wasn't no, right. Pumping, pumping station. The pumping, pumping station yes. is for the East Hampton water. That's or not for yes. our well water. But that's right. There was something else. Yeah, that's yeah, being built right Hampton on the water. East Hampton town line. Right. Yeah. But I thought there was something else that was going to be done for an improvement at the existing well at the Glendale and Ten. Maybe it was an old thing I read, so I don't pretend to know that. Anyway, so this, this ended up being number one, though, for everybody, for our, most of us, right? Mm -hmm. yep. so. so I think a concentration on water supply. Yeah. Um, I think that's... I think that has to be on there because we know it's a, a very big right. thing. Yeah. It's, great, it's uh, something that's off the radar, I think. I think it's, it's on the radar for the people that know about it, but... Yeah. Yeah. You know, the Bay Pack sort of. Right. Bay Pack dissolved. dissolved. It's it not existent yeah. mm -hmm. any longer. Yeah. So all the stuff about, you know, the water contamination in the ponds and this, this other thing at Pequot Road. And yeah. I thought we thought that this couldn't really get done. Right? And this, you know, is there, there any protection for, for water with the use of pesticides and things like that? We don't have any well, regulations. We brought up. Some of that. If you look at our bylaws, our, our zoning bylaws, for new developments, there is in there that they have to do um, the testing in terms of the water, I guess for lack of a better word, is it perking and leaching. going down through the leaching through the soil. And these new developments that are going to be over there in the Pequot Road area, there's two of them, both sort of meet all those standards. There, um, there isn't going to be considered a danger for the groundwater at all if people have green lawns. It's just apparently not going to be a problem because of the way it leached. So it's successful. Mm -hmm. I mean, other parts of town might be more difficult, but those particular areas, they were right there in, and it was reviewed by the peer engineer okay. to the engineering firm VHB to um, determine if they met the standards. Because that was a big question that mm -hmm. I had. Okay. <coughs> The um, the runner-up established land use development policies that respond to infrastructure capacity. That's a biggie, in my opinion. <laughs> it is, and I'll be honest with you. And I I didn't vote. I like the goal. I don't like the strategies, and I don't like the strategies because there's just two. And the goal sounds really important. It is important, but the strategies to me don't necessarily fully encompass the goal. Mm -hmm. It's just one of my whole packs to it. I think we, my statement on this is that we did a little very much informal uh, questionnaire at Celebrate Southampton mm -hmm. this Saturday. We had about open spaces mm -hmm. and one of the questions was, do you value open space in this town? And it was high, medium, and low. And uh, there, the vast majority said high, the vast majority. There were a handful, though, that were medium. And I think there's this concern that we need more development in our town. That's what I might, just my guess. But the argument is that development, municipal development, will draw more need of our infrastructure, our town infrastructure, whether it be the wells, the sidewalks, or just plain the, um, the town hall costs and our professional employees, or our lack of professional employees. We don't have enough professionals mm -hmm. or employed people in our, to, to manage. We're stuck with volunteers doing a lot of things. So we need to, this one's important because we need to be able to say, what is our infrastructure capacity and what are we missing in order to have new development? Otherwise, people think we don't want any development. Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily true. I heard we something need the interesting, formula. and it's sort of apropos of this conversation, but 
And the luncheon, and this, uh, Lindsay Sabados was there, we were just talking about senior populations in surrounding mm -hmm. towns, and 60% and of the population of West Hampton is over 60 years old. 60 percent. 60. Ours is 33. And I asked, and I'm thinking, well, what's the difference? They have no development yeah. in West Hampton. Therefore, the people who were there are staying there, aging there in place. And because there are no new properties being developed, mm -hmm. younger people aren't coming in to. And why is it not agent. being developed? Because there isn't any land for sale? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know whether it's the land issue. Um, I think know. they have some uh, large uh, plot zoning. It seems to me, at least in some areas, it's a five acre. Yeah. Oh, they have minimum. minimum. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And you don't see a lot of land for sale up there. You know, for in terms of like buildable lots, you don't see those. Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought they had a moratorium on building. So that then, wasn't so true. when you think about it, it's okay. yeah. But it's true, but what if you tell enough is, people, they start thinking that. But then it's a beautiful little town yeah. with the nicest library, not the nicest, mm -hmm. but a very nice library. But soon they're not going to have a population. And yet I mean, they're all going to be old folks well, like us. people will move in as the yeah, others. Such, Move off. Off. Yeah, I, 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 I guess. If they have a lot of elementary yeah. school. Uh, hmm. I, I was up there talking to somebody. They have terrific elementary. Yeah, school. they do. Mm -hmm. They have they have a very good elementary school. And they're part of the regional system. Mm -hmm. so. My problem with strategy, like the goal six four strategy six four b, selectively invest in infrastructure improvements to direct new residential units to areas that have been identified for growth. Have we really, have we identified areas for growth? Do you want to identify areas for growth? That, that was part of one of the early chapters, right. wasn't it? They had selected certain parts of town that suggested areas for growth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some map or something. I think yeah. that is a good idea, though. Yeah. And that's where that. I'm just. I don't. How many more houses? Septic. Exactly. I mean, good job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Build, I, I don't. It just seems. Well, I. Uh, this is what we were saying earlier. How many more houses do you want to build? I'd like to see a lot of houses built, like the houses I see on Mountain View Circle. I don't necessarily want to see any more houses that have, mm -hmm. you know, three or four acres, and we have plenty of. Why do you feel big, that way? I feel that way because those are affordable. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so they allow. There's a lot of, in my opinion, need for bridge housing in this town. Whether you're Downsizing as you age, mm -hmm. or trying to survive in a first house market, mm -hmm. and you want to live in town, or if you, I guess I can see if you if you work in town as one of our public servants, mm -hmm. do you want to be able to live in town? Sure. Mm -hmm. Can you afford to live in town? Yeah. So there's not enough of that type of housing, mm -hmm. and it's a matter of making smaller houses on smaller lots. So builders can so make the it. So that goes back to the zoning issues and right. all the, the mm -hmm. density right. and all that kind of stuff. 140 I, I, feet I, of frontage, where that yeah. came from, I don't know. Yeah. It's town wide. And yeah. to me, it doesn't fit town wide mm -hmm. because we're not West Hampton. And we don't need five acres or 140 feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. You could zone it out. Yeah. It's interesting because at, at the um, CPC meeting a couple, whatever, a week ago, um, we've been talking about with Mrs. Dehart how to how to think about using some CPC money for housing because we haven't figured out how to do the that affordable yet. housing affordable housing and um, so we were talking in earlier meetings about you know wouldn't it be nice if some of these small places like that area it, when they come up for sale that we could somehow CPC or somebody could have like the first right of refusal or at least know that they're coming up for sale mm -hmm. but anyway lo and behold last week I was whizzing by, and all of a sudden there's a for sale sign on Helen Drive. So I drove down, and sure enough, there's a three-bedroom house down by the Angel Park down there. And I looked up, it was uh, Denny Nolan's got listed, and it's like $275,000 or something, which is, you know, quite a bit cheaper than <laughs> some of these other things around. So I brought it to CPC just to say, hey, look, you know, here's an example. This, There's one that is happening to come up for sale, and I, I have no idea whether you know, CPC could even think about doing anything. Well, I got turned back over to Chuck, I guess, who's on your committee, mm -hmm. Kinnicky, to bring it to you guys. But, but I mean, and no one's got more stuff for sale, but I guess it's not perkable up on, on Foma Road. There's like 13 or 14 acres mm -hmm. between, on Foma, before you get to Crooked Ledge. There's a whole 
land available there. So I mean, there's, there's stuff available, but we don't know how to <laughs> how to make use of it. But anyway, that was just one example of finding a small house that could be good for somebody and figure out how to how to even begin to try and access something like that. Because certainly CPC doesn't want to be a landowner or any of that kind of stuff. So, yeah. you know, you've got to figure out how you would do that. Whether, you know, the inclusionary housing mm -hmm. zoning law, wasn't wasn't there something in there that if the developers didn't do that 10th house, they were supposed to pay into a trust fund or something for future housing? Isn't that what that says? No, they don't have to pay into a trust fund if they don't do the 10th. They just have to have an inclusionary rated house if they go beyond nine. Yeah, I thought I there was something else in the, in the bylaw. I thought I read something that mm, if they didn't sure. do the tenth, that was the... Uh, well, I don't that. know about Maybe. that, Chris. I can look again. Oh, I was I'll reading it the other I'll day. I'll take a look at it, too, because I saw it somewhere. Um, so I, I feel like we're getting off track. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, but those... The, the whole issue there of infrastructure and what we could do. I mean, mm -hmm. this is where that little, the small sewer thing might come into place, but I think we have to figure out where we want to encourage development in town. And there's not that much land left. Right. <laughs> you know, so let's be sensible about what we want to see here. There's not that much land left. Don't think about it, there's not much land left. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay. So we just touched on 6-4 which was the responded infrastructure capacity, um, which is something we'll talk about again, I'm sure. Um, and then third, 6-8, public elementary facilities and programming, decreased reliance on school of choice revenue, increased municipal appropriation to maintain it, high level of school services and programming. Um, you know, that's, it's an important one. Um, I find it important, but on the same token, it is a sort of a, a war being or a battle being fought every day by sort of select board, select board representation, and fought in a good way, right? Fighting to make sure we keep the schools funded. Um, so, yeah. and to me, this one is a budget issue. I think out of everything, mm -hmm. Southampton, if we look at the entire regional system, from what I've looked at. Southampton's primary school is the least funded of anyone in the mm -hmm. entire system. So to me, it's a finance and a select board and a town issue to provide the budget that Norris needs to function and stop nickel and diming it. And that, so that to me, I didn't, I didn't actually rank this one because I think right. that's it's that's a battle being fought, right? Like it's it's you, important. I, yeah. I totally agree, but it's a, to me, it's a different issue and different players that need to take the responsibility to make that happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that was my thought. I totally agree. Let's um. Let's get through seven and eight. We'll, we'll yeah, do our best. Let's let's plow yeah. here. Yeah, so seven it. one, promote energy efficiency in all buildings infrastructure. Um, produce. So one two three of seven dash one already complete. I'm sorry four. Um, monitor and evaluate progress and savings of town energy efficiency measures. I know I asked for that at least two years while on the finance committee, never got an answer. Um, and then one dash E, provide local incentives for energy efficiency and or renewable energy, such as rebate tax credits, electric vehicle charging, muni buildings, similar efforts. So this one I had highlighted in just out of sort of personal knowledge, right? So Mass Save does this for all of us um, through the electric utility. They don't provide free electric vehicle charging, but you get local incentives for energy efficiency products, light bulbs, um, and then there are options to purchase your electricity through renewable sources, through outside um, suppliers. So this one to me was tough because there's an organization doing this, and from, for the town to do it, it costs the town money. So it's mess. Mess save. Mess save. Mm -hmm. Right, they do a lot of this, then there's other options out there. I just saw it as a, for to do it locally, it, it will cost money. And if someone's already doing it, mm -hmm. if they're doing it 70% of the way, it's, it's better than mm -hmm. the town trying to do it. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of this one is, is in the process of being done. I mean, I think right. the, the grant we've got, right, Francine, there's a grant that we've got for energy savings that we're yeah, working on already. Some, yes. Some of that. And then we're buying 
electricity through or belong to a to a uh, to Deerfield, like some kind of electric co-op or something. So we're getting you, you know about that, right? Mm -hmm. like it's in South Deerfield. Or yeah, Deerfield. Deerfield. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't know the numbers. Um, in terms of I don't. Saving. I don't either. I mean, I think that's. That's one of the questions I know the town accountants had that question at meetings before of, all right, we've done this, what did we save, right? Mm -hmm. We've made this commitment, did we save money by going this route or did it cost us the same? Um, Can I ask a question that somebody told me up in another community that they had done? Sure. They were able to partner with another community someplace else in the United States who exceeded their footprint, footprint demand. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they were partnering, and this actually was West Springfield, which has, you know, a lot of trees and a lot of, you know, there's that whole bear hole area up there, mm -hmm. and we certainly have a lot of treed areas, and there was payment. Offsetting carbon emissions. Carbon. Uh, offsetting carbon emissions. You've heard of this? Mm -hmm. Is this something Southampton could benefit from if we were to partner and offset carbon Someone emissions? I brought it up, and, and Ed, who used to be the mayor of West Springfield, looked at me in a very funny way, like, what are you talking about? But there is such a problem. Well, I know they do that. Like, um, I don't know how, but I've, I've heard of it. I don't it know how that works. Between towns, though, I thought that. Yeah, was this that. is between towns. That would yeah. be the answer. Some town that doesn't have <clears throat> the kind of trees areas that we have. And companies can do that, right? So companies who burn a lot of fossil fuels can do right. things to offset their carbon emissions, plant a million trees, or you know, do something, thing. right? Maybe fund an organization that or does fund something. Us who has trees. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I I don't know. Or pay us for some. How that works, but yeah, it's an option. That. Hmm. Might be a few thousand that would come in that would be offsetting something else. That's a very good point. Yeah. But we don't know how to do that, huh? I don't know. <laughs> offsetting. I, I've heard of it. I know what you're talking about yeah. with West Springfield. I just don't know enough about it. Um, Research. The second vote getter was promote renewable energy in town. So we did adopt a PV bylaw. Uh, looks like we have not adopted a wind energy bylaw. Solar PV installation on landfill. I mean, that's a. I'll be honest with you, with the amount of solar developments out there, if it was a viable property, someone would have come to the town. There are so many developers out there that simply Google map locations, find acreage, and they call you. If you're a large landowner or a large, say, inactive farm field owner, mm -hmm. they'll call you. Mm -hmm. Well, the main one we've got now is on Valley Road, yeah? Mm -hmm. The British? Yeah. Didn't the Bashistas also, wasn't there some discussion yeah. about a portion of their property? Mm -hmm. I think it is. Being for solar? Yeah. Pardon me? I think that is happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the hill up there? I'm not quite sure where it is, mm -hmm. but I see so. So, I mean, that's, I, I feel like if the landfill was an opportunity, there would have been an outreach, right, from a, from a financial gain, right, if there was, a, if it was feasible, it would have happened, um, at least the outreach. Explore methane capture from closed landfill, I don't know much about that. I think we said in our discussion that was impossible because we could pierce the cap. Hello. I think I remember us talking about that in one of our yeah, meetings. Yeah, I think you're right. I sort of remember something about that. Explore a possibility of generating hydropower from Thai Carmody Reservoir. I mean, I don't think so. another one. I mean, I think we don't have. That's completely unfeasible. But those three. Whatever relationship we have with oil. To never. C, D, and E, I <laughs> marked like, as proposed and rejected as not feasible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we are, C, D, and E. In. And we picked this as our second one. Okay. In F, purchase renewable energy for municipal facilities. You can do that for a municipal facility. You can do that for your home. It generally costs more. So yeah. Just maybe if we offset carbon emissions, we can yeah. use the savings that, to pay for the renewable energy. But in general, it does cost more to buy from us. The renewable responsible generator. party for that doesn't exist, I believe. The energy committee. Mm. That mm. doesn't exist any longer. No, so. so. Not that I know. Of. Well, there we go. <laughs> Is there a way? I'm just curious in terms of you know that tying this. We have the solar bylaw apparently. Mm -hmm. We have a solar bylaw. Mm -hmm. 
we tie that into the 20% um, energy reduction plan? If we were for municipal buildings, like one of the big costs, right, is, is the electricity for this building, let alone well, anything I, else. For all the, all the properties exclusive, exclusive of the water department that consumes the most electricity, mm -hmm. I think the bill is about $60,000 a year. Yeah. So if we were to do something over that, yeah, I mean, over that, that place is I'm not oriented here. Behind, behind, the, behind the firehouse. Oh, mm -hmm. the, the reason land that, that we property know. was bought and cleared was supposedly to install solar panels that would run town hall and maybe what, the, and what, what was this? What happened? Really? That's what I thought. I, I thought it was bought because they thought they were going to put the new. Um, uh, no, but after complex. they couldn't do that, then then they. Like, can we use it as a solar? Cut right. down all the trees between. Yes. There and the whatever that road is. Why not use the elementary school roof? You could do that too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Those or this roof, for God's sake. Yeah, I mean, and and yes, this yes, roof. Yes. Mm -hmm. I um, attended a, a session at the Open Space Conference about solar siting, which is a, becoming a big concern for towns. And the solar companies are coming in and taking uh, the easiest uh, land. So that's forests and open and agricultural land. And they're leasing those for solar arrays, whereas it would be, so we're losing. <laughs> Yeah. valuable land and there are other options which are more costly like over parking lots on roofs and so forth that would be much better locations mm -hmm. for, for uh, solar uh, arrays. Mm -hmm. yep. It's kind of curious and it's the a, towns are grappling with that. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult too because we deal with it at work. We do interconnections for the developers and the developers are very they're very fast when they do this. And they're not always, so they haven't always, they don't always align all their permitting with the town prior to, you know, to having us move forward. They don't always finalize lease agreements with the owners. It's, it's very quick and it's, yeah. there are owners, property owners that get caught up in the mix and don't make the best decisions. And we've, so we have to go out to the sites afterwards, right? And service equipment and homeowners are, Sometimes upset about the agreements they got into with the developers. We have nothing to do with it, right? We're just the interconnecting agency, but we we sort of hear the the troubles of that because you know these are large developers, and mm -hmm. some are great, some are good. Mm -hmm. It's like everything, but it's difficult. I guess I'm wondering since we had was seven two was the number to ramp thing. Mm -hmm. But as we're looking at these, most of this stuff doesn't seem, at least these strategies here, unless we rewrote strategies, 90% right. of these don't really make right. any sense. Well, so the is, goal. Goal. Yeah. Yeah. So so is there a way, sense. like we combined on the Greenway, is there a way to combine, we've already got the adopted solar, solar installation bylaw, is there a way to fold that into <clears throat> goal one, just like we did with the Promote Greenway? Promote energy efficiency. Yeah. yeah. I would think so. And yeah. fold that one in so that we don't lose it, since we do have a bylaw on it. Right, and, the rest. and that maybe and maybe tie it, not tie it, but I mean also make note that that would be great for municipal facilities as well, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just homeowners. Mm -hmm. um, because most of the rest of that. <laughs> well, does uh, a wind energy bylaw make any sense for town? Do do we want to eliminate that? I don't know. Wind's very expensive. And from a development standpoint, it's very expensive. It's also inconsistent. You gotta find yeah. the location. It's easier to find the solar location, I think, than the right way. I want to say you have to have like it's gonna be like twelve to fifteen to miles per hour. Like consistent. Like eight yeah. hours straight. So Not only that. For it to be like really like, yeah, that's basically, like, right? <laughs> like that's where it comes down to or yeah. Yeah. areas where it's just at the right escarpment and you always have wind. Yeah. It's, it's, it's also, just it's also <laughs> it changes the look of the environment right, considerably. Really. Yeah. And the other part, uh, we have friends up in northern Vermont that are really close to some of those, that they have several big um, mm -hmm. wind turbines. turbines on top of them. There's the turbines, but there's the fact that the roads they had to build to get those turbines up there really wrecked the mountains. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was like, 
they had to be wide enough to be able to take these things up. Mm -hmm. And the maintenance piece is very expensive too. So right. I'm not so sure I'm jumping on the solar band, I mean the wind, wind yeah. bandwagon quite yet. I don't know. I'd like to okay. see another alternative, not wind. Well, can we modify that a little bit? I mean, Which I'm one? following Chris's suggestion is kind of roll it in. You just take the... Take it out. I mean, we roll, roll it in. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then we want to keep rolling it into the other. I change it from a dot to research. So 72B? Yeah. A and B go a. together. Well, huh? yeah, if you want to consider B, but I thought we weren't really... Or no, let go. it go. 72A. Yeah. I'm thinking A, yeah. Yeah. You're moving that up to seven. That's what one. I'm thinking. Yeah, to seven yeah, one. Added up in the but you're, okay. You're moving a. the solar a. up into seven one. Seven two a into. Oh, I see. Up, up into yes. goal one. Goal. Yeah. Oh, I sorry. see. I'm sorry. Because the rest yeah. of the goal is kind of okay. Black hole. And then then. That makes sense. And then what was the last one? Oh, the last one was the schools, right? Uh, last one was. Obtain green community status, which we did. Oops. Mm -hmm. We did. Let's apply for a grant. I'm sorry. Apply for solarized mass estate program to increase the number of solar, photoelectric, photovoltaic, electrical generating installation by lowering cost to residents and businesses. I don't know how you do that without costing the town money. But. I'm not saying we shouldn't do things because they cost money, but, you know, you know strap budget years. Well, we better pay back. Yeah. Pretty quickly, or else. And if you look at this thing, almost every one of these strategies involves, almost every one, the Energy Committee, which you already pointed out doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So we should get the to re, uh, from, you know, re uh, energize the energy committee and uh, yeah. reestablish it. Yeah. I mean, it's not something. So number four though was the I mean the, our third place was the green community status. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're already a green community. Yeah. Okay. There we are. And are, you was, a, are you an eight right now? Seven. 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 So I'm moving on to eight right now. Yes. Land use. Rule eight two: Promote land use development patterns that protect the town's natural resources, rural community character. Um, adopt, update existing cluster zoning regulations to make the regulations more user friendly. Insert adopted regulations for ag preservation districts into the zoning bylaw, and revise regulations to clarify its intent. That's the third. Eight dash two. Eight two. Uh, is our is our third ranked one? No, it's our first ranked. Eight two is our first one. I apologize. Eight two eight four eight one. Apologize. Two four one. Consider revising minimum lot size requirements in the rural residential zoning district from sixty thousand square feet to eighty seven thousand square feet. And so. Focuses on land use development. Second place, improve ease of permitting in town and land use administration. Um, this one has a lot of goals. Strategies. Uh, strategies, sorry. <laughs> it does. Number four. I mean, I'd like 8-4 mm -hmm. yeah. because it does get to the one. This is pretty specific. I mean, yeah. It's one of the more specific ones that there is. And it's really mm -hmm. something that I think we could whoever takes charge of it could really grapple with it. And, and right. So. It can make change, right? Could really so. successfully complete some of these. I think so. Mm -hmm. um, and I think some of that needs to happen. I think there's demand for it. Too. Yeah, and I think some of this almost has to happen, you know, before we think about housing and, uh, and other things. I mean, you've got to, right. you know. It's very interesting. You've got to get some yeah. of the basic foundational and stuff. And rezoning for the yeah. system. So exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, so one thing I want to do, um, and this is, after first blush, but when we present this to talk about the top and the second place, because I think they're both important. And I think some can be some can be tackled through committee, some can be tackled through sort of select board designation, or hey, we need to take care of this in the next month or two months, right? Like there are some action items in here that I think the select board can 
wave the wand and kind of get things in motion. And others, it'll take more committee uh, engagement, more other committee engagements. But you know, this one to me, the permitting and land use, like the administration part, is very important because it really helps you do goal A-2 and some of the other previous goals. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's important. So after we prioritize them, I mean, we determine their importance as a category, then we have to put them in some kind of, you're suggesting some kind of chronological order so that this if this There's were ever going to be implemented, some, yeah. that would, they would have to, someone have, things would have to occur, as you're saying, before others. Before this could even mm -hmm. you know, take place, maybe. Yeah, I think that's, that may become a reality and we'll, when we flush this out a little more. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put something together, um, kind of paring down chapters five through eight with goal strategies, taking out strategies that have been completed, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then looking at what's there mm -hmm. for the top two. Mm -hmm. I think that goal goal <coughs> goal one became our third one, right? And a lot of yes, the things, yes. a lot of the strategies in in goal one in some ways could actually be added into goal four because again it's talking about you know dimensional standards of lots it's talking about you know multifamily housing it's talking about yeah. you know new development in the four oh here's your that answer to your question Jim 81 E, mm -hmm. guidelines incorporated into the zoning bylaws for new development in the four planning focus areas. So that was in the economic development chapter where there was that, you know, that intended or recommended areas of growth in town, I think, right? The recommended sections for town mm -hmm. to grow in. That was in that, maybe the economic development chapter, the way that word is here. But mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I think, you know, a lot of these I guess I wouldn't want to leave goal goal one. I mean, I think it, it's really important to you, so. All right. I think this was good. Yeah, this, yeah. It's a good exercise. It's, um, <laughs> there's concession, right? Because um, the voting doesn't always go the way we may think it will, but I think it's good. Well, I, think we're, I think we're pretty much on the same wavelength. I, mean, mm -hmm. I feel like it. Mm -hmm. So do we, and I know we're going to do the first four chapters, but do we want to then is your intent to go back and kind of look at these then strategy-wise and just cross off all the ones that we think we are just not, not something that we want to give the town to focus on? I think so. I think we'll do chapters one through four, and then we'll come back for another meeting with a pared down review. I'm going to cross out like the completes, for instance, that are in those strategies. And then we can talk about other strategies. Like there may be some strategies Part of that goal, like let's say we really like the goal, but one strategy, like I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back to the bike ride, <laughs> right? Like we look at it and say, let's not concentrate on that, right? Let's concentrate on strategies one and three, because two is complete and four just mm -hmm. it's a little yeah. left field, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's that's how I kind of envision it, and then we'll do the report out yeah. immediately after. And I, and I think too, as you know, talking about, I agree with you. To just talk about which ones are completed, or to cross them off in a sense. But I think in terms of a presentation, to make this not as scary mm -hmm. to people listening, <laughs> and right. giving, giving people a level of motivation to want to do something mm -hmm. based on our recommendations, I think we have to say, okay, here's. Here's goal one. You know, there were five strategies here. Hey, look, you know, one, two, and three, we're actually either already done or well underway. And we think the next two strategies in this are the next ones that can really solidify, you know, making progress in this goal or something. Because I think if we if we just talk about what's to do but not showing what's either been done or right. being Show done the in success. that, yeah. then it's going to seem like another mountain oh, that nobody wants to tackle, right? Yeah. So I think we've got to mm -hmm, couch it a little bit. Mm -hmm to sort of motivate people to say, hey, look, this isn't you know, that bad yet. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. And, and, yeah, just to mention, we had talked about Mike doing the report out at the meeting in October of the select board, and I checked and we were going to put it into the second select board meeting in October. That may not happen because they're having a special town meeting, so it may be pushed off to the following one, which would probably be early November, but it, that's probably better. That's still, yeah, that gives us a good amount of time. Cool. I think that's good. good. Yeah, no, I think this was... 
so we already set another meeting. Uh, yes. Uh, previously, it's September 30th at yeah. 7 p.m. here. Mm -hmm. I will do my best to post. If I'm unable to post, <laughs> I will email everyone in the world <laughs> saying I can't post. And and you, have you lost your uh, capacity to post? <laughs> I, I tend to lose it every two months, and then it's a, it's a, it's, it takes like a, you have to t contact Lucy or something. Yeah, yeah. No, we do. And yeah. we go back and forth, and yeah. she clicks a button, and then it, Weird. it, yeah. it always takes a little while. So the 30th is what we got, right? It's yeah. 7, yeah. Okay. So we're doing 1 to 4 on the 30th. Do you want to set any for October or uh, our next meeting? Let's, we'll wait till the next meeting, okay. and then we'll line them up. I move to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.